Hey everybody, Hans Walter Peterson here with the Finger Lakes Grape Program. And I'm here at the site of our new teaching and demonstration vineyard, or what soon will be our new vineyard. And we're really excited about this project. Part of the reason is, in addition to being able to have a vineyard that we can do some uh, really neat stuff in, is that we're going to be able to demonstrate some of the site preparation techniques um, that you need to do in order to get a, have a good vineyard even before you put the vines in the ground. And so the first thing that we've done, and we just finished this this morning, is putting drain tile in the field. Now, you might ask, what is drain tile? Well, it's just basically this perforated, corrugated pipe. It looks like this and there are little slots that are cut into all these little valleys in the pipe. And what it does is it allows water to percolate into this that's in the soil and carries it out. And it comes in big rolls like this and basically gets laid down in a big trench that gets cut in by an excavator. The purpose of putting this in is to get rid of excess water that's in the soil profile. So when we have a big rainfall or we have a lot of snow melt in the spring, there's a lot of water that's sitting in and on top of the soil and it's more water than the soil itself can handle. When we talk about water and soil, we often talk about something called field capacity. And the capacity of that field to hold water is based on what, how much clay and silt and sand particles there are in there, what that proportion is, how deep the soil profile is, and some other factors like that. So when we put this in, we're trying to get the water that is beyond that field capacity to get out of the soil profile so there's not excess water in there and therefore there can be oxygen in the soil profile in addition to the water that the soil is holding on to. Now some people might ask sometimes if we put drain tile in doesn't that mean that the water that the soil will dry out that much faster that will that will induce drought conditions faster and that's not the point of this this just basically takes that excess water out. Drought is going to happen when the vines start using up more water, we get a lot of evapotranspiration, and we don't have a lot of rain. And so this isn't going to cause that to happen. This is just moving that excess water out of the, out of the field. So by getting rid of this water, we're able to work in the field sooner, and we actually get water away from the grape roots, excess water away from the grape roots. We say a lot of times that grapes don't like wet feet. And so what we mean by that is that Basically, if you don't drain that excess water out, the roots are sitting underwater. They don't have access to oxygen. And so by moving that excess water out, we're able to get oxygen back into the soil in combination with the water that's being held by the soil profile. So in a lot of cases, this is a pretty important thing to be able to do. And it's obviously easiest to do it before you put any vines in the ground. It can be done after you plant a vineyard, but once a vineyard is in place, it's a lot harder to do. So once, while you have an open field like this, it's a lot easier to put the, bring the equipment in and put this in place. So what, in addition to this main line that we've put in, this is where most of the water is going to run out. There are a couple of uh, draws or kind of low spots in this vineyard that we have laterals running through. And we put it in there in order to catch water because those low spots are where we're going to have more water collect. And so let's walk down here and we'll take a look at some of those laterals and talk about why we put them in there. So in addition to our trunk line that we installed down at the bottom here, kind of our main line that's going to carry water all the way out to its outlet, we had to install laterals that hook into that main line. And these laterals are put in areas that are kind of lower spots. We have several draws or swales here in this vineyard. And that's where a lot of excess water will collect because that water will move downhill and collect in those areas. And so we, need, we wanted to put lateral lines in those areas to collect that water. And we're standing in one of those draws right now. And this is one of these lateral lines. You can see it runs all the way down to our trunk line here. And actually what our excavator found is that in a few of these draws, we actually had existing tile that the owners didn't know about. And that's not uncommon at all. Uh, areas in the Finger Lakes have been farmed for decades. And so there are certainly places where there's tile sitting in areas and people just don't remember them being installed or don't know about them being installed. So we ran into a couple of those situations. And actually right here where this pink flag is, our excavator was coming up and was going to keep going all the way up to the top of the vineyard and ran into an old tile here that was in good shape, seemed to be running okay, and so instead of digging a hole the rest of the trench, tied into the, to the tile here, this old tile, which leads up further into the vineyard towards the area we were going to tile anyway. So it actually saved us some money and some time with the, with the excavator. And so from this point on, we're collecting water from this direction to here, it tees into our new line, and it runs down to our trunk down here, and it'll get carried away the rest of the way. So as we walk further this way in the vineyard, 
you can see we have a few more of these draws and swales that we would also need to drain. But as you can see this way, we don't have any trenches dug. And that's because when our tile excavator was digging our main, tr main trench, he found that it, we actually had tile already in the ground. So instead of digging that up and putting new tile in, that old tile was in good shape. It seemed to be running fine, so there's no reason to dig that up and replace it. So now we're down here at the outlet where all the tile comes out to this creek behind me. So when we were digging the outlet, we came down here. We actually found that there were two four inch lines that emptied into the creek. Again, these are old tiles. We're not exactly sure where they go, but they kind of cut up towards the outlet that we dug into and tied our main trunk line into. And then that line comes down here. So down here at the end, we have actually we took uh, cut off some of the old ends of the old tile line and stuck on a four inch solid PVC pipe a little more stable, a little more sturdy, and actually had what's called an animal guard stuck in there to basically keep mice and voles from running up into the pipe as well. And so we've just got two pipes down here running into the creek, and uh, it's not even been 24 hours since we installed the system, and there's already water flowing out of it.